he's at it again there's a guy next door and he is obsessed with diy and he's always doing something anyway today i am going to go shock horror i'm going to harrods woke up this morning and i was really tired and i was in a bit of a grouchy mood because of it but i've kind of i've chilled out feeling good there's some things that i want to go in for i wasn't actually planning on going in today who remembers the dior you know the dior hats with the mesh sort of i had so many of you saying don't get it i keep going backwards and forth with it i keep thinking is it a trend piece which i know it is and is it i don't know i just keep going backwards and forwards but i've wanted it since february and i'm still thinking about it now and it's june now there has been a slight change since i told you about that the change is that i've decided that instead of getting the baker boy cap i'm going to get the berry because i think the berry is a bit more long term and i still like the look of it anyway you couldn't get these hats you just couldn't get them for love nor money and then my essay there phoned me yesterday and said i've got you one it's your size but you've got to come in tomorrow for it and i was like okay I'm going to cancel everything and go in for that. So I need to make a list. Right, I want to get that Dior hat. I also need to get... I wore these the other day and I'm so angry at myself. And let me show you the back of the heels. Can you see all along here? And look, this is even missing the end of it. I went out wearing them. And the one thing I hate about these particular shoes, these are called decollete is that the heels are so thin they fall down cracks in pavements i got stuck on the escalator in the tube in these the other day i was on my way down and i was like oh my gosh my foot is like totally stuck in it i managed to get it out but i've ruined them so i'm going to take them to be repaired do i actually have any others that i want doing at the same time um maybe not no i don't uh, right, so I'm going to get them to do that. They're normally really good at fixing stuff like that. I've taken stuff in before that have, has been absolutely trashed and they fixed it. Where's my page gone? There is a perfume I want to get that loads of you have been telling me about. It's by Dior. Oud Isofan. I think it's called that. Then what else? I want to look in the book department because there's a book at the moment that I want to see if they have. I want to have a look in Chanel. I have not been in there in like three months. That is it. Shall we go? Right, what am I what am I taking with me? Hairspray, hand cream, toothpicks, powder. I'm gonna take my phone. These, by the way, I was really bad talking about this stuff in case you're like, stop selling me things. These I sell on my website, the seven pounds. You can throw them in the washing machine. I keep everything in it and then you can just lift that into your bag so i'm just looking at this bag at the moment and the other bags all seem to be like pale pinks which are nice but i know i won't use that also up the top there the bucket bag is in like patent white i do quite like this sorry what do you think i think it's quite nice this is the other colour. It's actually smaller. Like a ready colour. So the other one is this, which I've always really liked this bag. Just I think in this colour is too limiting. I like this beige one, this is nice, and then here's the smaller, so I'll try and show you the size comparison. <laughs> this is nice. This is a tote. Kind of similar size to that. <coughs> what do you think? I wasn't even in the market for a bag today. What am I doing? That is nice, isn't it? Okay. saw 
and I just went into Chanel. I saw that bag and I really like it, but I don't know if I love it. I've just sent a picture of it to David, um, just to see what he thinks, because he's normally pretty good on it. I've come into Dior now to look at the hat. There is one bag in here that's always played on my mind, but I can't bring myself to pay full price for it, and it's the Jadior bag. I just tried on these for the millionth time. I really like them, but actually these are too big. This is the lower heel, and they're surprisingly comfortable. I might actually get the lower one versus the higher. Right, you guys, I have shopped. So far, anyway, I'm gonna get some food. I'm in the Urban Retreat. I love this one. Look at the ceiling up there. It's really nice, isn't it? Um, thing is, it's like half past three, so it's a bit of a weird time to eat, but I want something. I'm probably gonna get, they do a really good um, thing in here where it's like three bits of bread with different things on it. Uh, what is it called? This has changed. This feels different. What's this? Drinks. Uh, that looks quite good. That salad. Rainbow Buddha bowl. Mm. That might actually be a good shout. Do you see what I mean about this camera? Right, here was the thing. I got the hat. I'm so glad I got the hat. Really glad I got the hat. I got the beret, not the cap, because they didn't have the cap. The beret looks amazing i love it i really really like it i'm gonna show you it a bit later it is definitely something that's probably more suited to autumn winter but also for an event like you could totally wear it for that the other thing is that chanel bag i'm gonna go and look at it on the ground floor i looked at it in a different concession within harrods and there was um, an issue with it i don't know if you could tell but it kept Whenever you placed it down, it fell forward. It was like the weighting of it was totally wrong. So I want to have a look at the one they've got downstairs. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and look at it downstairs once I've done this. I also need to look still at the books. I'm so tired though. And also, you know what's really annoying is I left the house this morning, and when I got outside, I was like, wow, it's like 26 degrees, and it's really nice. Do I really want to be stuck inside all day? But it's been a good day. It's been really weird filming here today though. Normally it's pretty relaxed, but they've been, like in Chanel at least, they're always a bit like it in there, but it was quite strict, which is why I used my phone, not the camera. I wanna go and look at clothes, but I don't know. Do you ever get those days where you wanna look at clothes, but you don't know if you've got the commitment to actually go and try them all on? I'm there. It turns out the sale is on at the moment and I was just looking around the clothes and there's so many nice things in it. That's the first thing there. I was already looking at this, so I'm really glad to see it's in the sale. Then, how cute is this dress? Don't you think? So I'm gonna try that on. Um, I think that's the same thing in different sizes. This is the top, it's quite nice. It's okay, isn't it? Just for like a basic top. It's quite pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna try on the dress next. Oh, I love this as well. How sweet is this dress? Do you know what? I was not planning on buying anything except that hat today. And I don't know what is going on. Here is the next option kind of like the reason why i wanted to try this on is because i've got a wedding coming up in june and i saw this and i thought it could work but it's a bit of a weird length isn't it on anyone else this would probably look good but i'm not loving it on me detail on it's really nice though for anyone who likes this dress you can find it in marge this is one of the many things that i hate about being tall I love this outfit, but the skirt is indecently short. Look. I really like that preppy look, and when I look at this, like this is just, I like this style. It's just too short. Do you know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's such a shame. I do really like it.
I'm going to go back and look at that Chanel bag, but I'm going to look at it downstairs, mainly because the one that I looked at kept falling forward. I don't know if you saw that. It was like, there was something wrong with the weighting of it. So I'm going to go and look at that. I'm filming all of this from now on, on my phone, by the way, because every time I get out my camera, people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> Whereas on your phone, they don't seem to bother you. I'm showing David this hat. He's going to die when he sees it. <laughs> your face. What do you think? You can hang yourself up with that. What is that bit at the top? It's like a bubble. You always have those on beret hats. Oh. Why are you smiling like that? It's funny. It's not funny. Yeah. How do you wear a beret anyway? Is it on the side? That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I need to figure this out. Anyway. I like it, and that's all that matters, isn't it? Like right now, it's looking ridiculous. I need to figure this out. But the lady did it in the shop for me, and it looked really, maybe that's it. I think that's it. It's not bad. I am really pleased with that. I'm glad, not that I had much of a choice. You know, I was gonna get the cap version. I'm glad that I got this and not the cap, because they, you know, ber berets have always been around, haven't they? Whereas the cap's a bit more. Right, let me show you the material for any of you who want to see close up. This is the material. It's kind of like really thick gross grain ribbon is what it feels like. On the back there is like a little deal plaque. On the top is that little loop that David was just laughing at. Then on the inside it's got the little B and it's got how to take care of it. I didn't get that Chanel bag because at the end of the video, I couldn't film it because they were being really weird in Chanel, but I went back to the Chanel counter on the ground floor in Harrods. They had one of those bags in there. Now the bag that I'd looked at previously with you, something wrong with it. Whenever you placed it down, it fell forward. Even the guy was like, there's something wrong with this. Then when I went and looked at the one on the ground floor, it didn't fall forward, but when I looked at it, the flap was completely wonky. Like it was actually on an angle. I don't know how it had got through um, like testing and quality control because it was so bad. For the money that it was, it was like 2,900 and something. I thought for three, nearly £3,000 to have that wrong with it, I'm not gonna... That's like a big thing to have wrong with it. So I took that as, um, as a sign not to get it, so I didn't. But yeah. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's better quality than I imagined it was gonna be as well. Oh, it's just too nice. I'm gonna wear this everywhere. It still looks odd, doesn't it? What am I, what am I doing wrong with this hat? Or maybe that's how berets are meant to look. It looks, like, it looks quite nice. I like this material stuff on it. 